Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in the last class, uh, we did a quick revision on the chapter lines and shapes. Correct? So, we studied what are lines, what are the different kinds of lines, and then we studied a few basics of geometry. Then we studied what are plane figures, right? And we saw plane shapes and solid shapes. So, in today's class, we'll be starting with a new chapter called patterns and Symmetry. So, what is the meaning of patterns and symmetry? Patterns. Patterns are first of all something that are repeated to create a design. Okay. When a shape, for example, is repeated in a particular way or in a particular rule, okay, to create a design, then that is called as a pattern. So, you can have patterns in designs, textures, right, and clothes. You have so many patterns around you in nature. Alright? You can find patterns in numbers also. Okay? So, this is basically what is patterns. So, patterns is nothing but a deco repeated decorated design. Now, if you see the first picture over here, there are so many uh, circles here, right? With different colors. So, that is creating a pattern or a design. So, let's see what is symmetry. What is the meaning of symmetry? A shape is symmetrical. Okay, a shape, a shape is said to be symmetrical when one half of it is a mirror image of the other half. Okay, so for example, if you look at this butterfly. Okay, so if I make uh, draw a line on this butterfly to look, make it look like half. Okay, so if you see at this left half of this butterfly, it is exactly similar to the other half of the butterfly. Okay, it looks like a mirror image. Mirror image is nothing but when you look, in, uh, look at yourself in the mirror. 
your right look like looks like your left and your left looks like your right correct so everything is opposite in the mirror image so if you see this uh, left side of the left wings of the butterfly it looks exactly like the mirror image of the right side of the butterfly so this butterfly is said to be symmetrical in shape or it is said to be symmetrical okay so any shape or any object is said to be symmetrical when one half of it is the mirror image of the other half now take this rectangle of for example now is there any way you can cut this figure into two equal parts what will you do to cut this figure into two equal parts now you'll cut it half across the figure right so you'll cut it uh, you can cut the figure in half to create two identical figures now so when you cut it like this in between you have two squares this is one square and this is another square so they are exactly identical to each other right so this line will create two figures of the same size and shape if you see here both these squares are of the same size and they are of the same shape so this line is creating in that one rectangle when that line cuts through the rectangle it creates two equal squares okay so is there any other way you can cut this shape into two equal parts now you cut through middle now how about across cutting the rectangle across so when you cut the rectangle across you will have two equal rectangles okay so this line will create two rectangles of equal size and shape so this is one rectangle and this is another rectangle now here both these rectangles are of the same size and they are of the same shape now if you see here the yellow and pink rectangles are of identical shape and size okay so we would say these are the lines of symmetry so the lines that divide any shape into equal uh, size two equal parts okay which are of the same size and shape or which is one reflection of the other okay so if you look at these two rectangles which are created here okay one is the reflection of the other okay they use different colors here just for your reference but if you look at it they are mirror image of each other so if you fold this rectangle along the line of symmetry okay along this green line it will overlap each other and it will fold on each other without any extra space okay so these are called as lines of symmetry so here the pink rectangle is a mirror image of the yellow rectangle in shape and size all right so how many lines of symmetry will be there for this rectangle for this triangle now if i want to draw lines of symmetry for a triangle okay i should make sure that both the halves are mirror image of each other correct so let's try and do that how will we do it we'll try to do it by cutting it across like this okay isn't this triangle okay now if i color this triangle red okay sorry is isn't this red part equal to the pink part over here sorry we should have been pink okay let's do it again so this will be the line of symmetry okay and if i color this red okay this is the red side of the triangle and okay I'll color this is the pink side of it okay so this red is exact mirror image of the pink side okay they are of the same size and shape so this is one line of symmetry can we create any other lines of symmetry if i cut through the tri triangle like this on the top we'll have a triangle shape and on the bottom we'll have four sides so it is not exactly equal so this triangle has only one line of symmetry now for this arrow mark how many lines of symmetry will be there for this arrow mark now if i draw, draw a line like this okay if i draw a line like this here now 
what happens? Are these two images exactly same or are they mirror image of each other? No, right? Because this arrow head is not over on the left side. So this is not symmetrical. Now what if I make a line of symmetry like this? Okay, so right through the middle of it like this. So uh, move the little bit. So we'll do it again. Okay. So something like this. Okay, so this will be exact mirror image of the other half, right? So this uh, this is the mirror image of this side. Okay, so this is the mirror image of this side. So how many lines of symmetry are there for this shape? There's only one line of symmetry for this shape. Okay, so this is what is the meaning of symmetry and what are lines of symmetry and what is a mirror image. Okay. Okay, so if you closely look at these shapes over here, okay, if you closely look at any one of the shapes here, okay, what you will see is you will find that if you keep a mirror strip along the center, okay, and look into the mirror, the other half of the pattern is seen in the mirror. So what you can do is, uh, you can take any shape and keep a small mirror on it, and see that when you look into the mirror, you will see the exact, uh, the other side of the shape in the mirror. Okay, so you will find that you place a mirror strip and at the center and look into the mirror. The other half of the pattern is seen in the mirror. So the dotted lines that you see in the following uh, represent the lines along which half mirror image of the other. Okay, so... These lines that we saw as the lines of symmetry are the lines where the mirrors are kept. Okay, so when you keep the mirror on those lines, you'll see the exact half, or the other half on the in, in the reflection of the mirror. So in some of them, more than one such line is possible, while in some it is not possible to divide it, such, uh, such that each half is a mirror image of the other. So some shapes have more than one line of symmetry while uh, some shapes have only one line of symmetry. So if you look at this square, there are so many uh, lines of symmetry, correct? So anywhere you keep the mirror, you will find that the other half is what you can see in its reflection. So you can see the mirror image of the other half, okay? So but if you, there's only one line of symmetry for this letter x okay and here also for this shape you have two lines of symmetry okay and this shape the shape doesn't have any line of symmetry because it is not symmetrical okay you'll wherever you place the mirror you will not get the mirror image of the other side okay so many letters of the english alphabet can be divided by a straight line into two mirror halves so if you look at the letter t Okay, if you pass the uh, if you pass the line across the letter T, it will create the symmetrical figure. Even D, as well as M. Okay, like this, many letters are there which will have symmetrical lines or which will produce two mirror halves. But there are some letters that cannot be divided in this manner. What are those letters? G, Q, and R. So these are few letters which cannot be divided symmetrically or as mirror halves of each other all right so this is the meaning of symmetry let's see a few questions on symmetry so exercise 6.1 on page number 153 in your textbooks so here the first question is take the figures where the dotted lines divide it into two similar mirror halves okay so now if you look at the figure a now, does this dotted line divide it into two similar halves? Yes. So, if, what you can do is simply, uh, you can imagine them overlapping each other. If they overlap exactly each other, that is when you fold the shape on the line. Okay, if they overlap exactly, then it is a mirror half. So, this is a 
mirror half. So we'll put a tick mark here. And what about this shape? This shape, if you see, both the mirror halves are of the same shape and size. Okay, and they are exact mirror image of each other. So this is also a this is also right. Now what about this letter E? Now here, if you see, these are not exactly mirror halves, right? So this is not right. Now what about this one? This is also this line divides it into two similar halves. So this is correct. Now what about the letter V? V again is not symmetrical. Okay, this cannot. Uh, what they have done here, the way they have drawn the line of symmetry, that way. We cannot create two similar mirror halves. Now what about this shape here? It is exact two similar mirror halves. So you put a tick mark there. Okay, then complete the mirror image with the help of the dots. So using the dots, you have to make the mirror image of this. Okay, so here the, this line as you see is the, you can consider it as the dotted line or the line of symmetry. So I'll join these this line like this, okay? Then I'll join this line like this. So this makes the mirror uh, half of this shape. And then what about this shape? Okay, uh, this blue color is come here by mistake, so ignore that. Okay, so when I join, I'll join this dot to this dot, then this dot over here to make it a complete circle. Okay. Then what we'll do is, okay, let's do this one again. Okay, so this you're joining like this. Okay, then this first you join, make two curved lines like this and then make a circle. So this does not come neat but when you draw neatly it should come exactly like this shape but the mirror half of it okay now here what about this shape over here this shape you will join these two lines like this here okay then these two lines like this then this is like this okay so this is the mirror half of this shape now Coming to the next one, color the following such that each half is the mirror image of the other. Okay, so you have to color these figures such that each half is a mirror image of the other. So what you will do here for the first one. Now the first one is pink color, right? So this other half also you will color in pink. Okay, you completely color it in pink. Then next one over here. These there are four petals. So how will be the mirror image of this? Now see if you see this line is slanting, correct? So when you fold it across this line, this will be the yellow petal, right? And this will be the blue one, okay? So this is a mirror image of this. Now coming to this star over here. This star, you will color it entirely green like this this side okay same way i want you to do d e n f for homework okay complete these colorings and try to do these also okay in the next class we will learn what are patterns and we'll solve the exercise that is there on patterns all right so i'll see you all in the next class students thank you